In this tutorial, we're going to create a new management pack for a distributed application. To get started, we'll click on the New Toolbar button, and then we'll provide it a name. We're going to uh, create a management pack for the Silect ConfigWise application, and we'll click on Next to uh, specify the working folder. Then we can add additional references. As you can see, we have a default set of references that will be added to this management pack. If we want to reference other MPs, we can do so. Then I'm going to choose the type of application we're going to create a management pack for. Again, this is a distributed application with multiple tiers. The first thing we're going to do is create uh, discovery roles or, or targets for each of the three tiers of the application, beginning with the front end. I'm going to use a simple registry discovery feature. So we're going to browse the registry on a system where that application is installed to help me with the uh, creation of that particular discovery. I'll choose a registry key which indicates the existence of the application. Provide a name as well as enable the target. I can uh, change some parameters for the discovery. Finally, choose a discovery schedule, then we'll go out and create that discovery rule. We can do the same thing for the middle, middle tier of the application or the back end of the application. Again, I'm going to use a, a pretty simple registry key uh, to help discover the existence of the back end of the application. In this case, it's a database. So we'll ch just choose those options and we'll complete the wizard by uh, enabling that target and defining a schedule of, for the uh, discovery. Once we're finished with the discovery, I'll click on Next to create monitors. As you can see, we can create monitors for the different tiers of the applications. For the front end tier, I'm going to create a service monitor, so I'm going to browse a system that has the service installed on it to help me with the creation of this monitor. We're going to enable this rule. I can then choose the uh, severity as well as creating an alert for this particular monitor. And then we'll also create a monitor for the back end. In this case, we're going to create a database monitor to ensure the database is uh, available for the application. I'll specify some information here about the name of the database server, the database itself. I can optionally specify a uh, SQL query string to run as part of this monitor. We'll then complete the database monitor creation wizard. At which point we can define additional monitors for either the front end or the back end, or we can continue to choose uh, the roll up algorithm. And clicking finish will complete the creation of the management pack. We see the number of objects established here, and we can go ahead and edit those objects in the MP Author Designer.